ngesishi ukuthi ngisinayeke la u Mike eh kanye nayeke eh u Tobile umdakanzi umalo basuka lapha nakwe ku US embassy eh Mike can I, I ask you to greet our viewers first Shani bona Ah that was good greetings <laughs> to everyone <laughs> right. very happy to be here thank you for having us on today All right eh Tobile se wamngela bingelela kuba ukuyela makhaya now, U.S. Consulate General, uh, you have a community development programs. Can you tell us, just give an overview of it? Yes, the community development programs were designed as part of our HIV AIDS relief programs oh, yes. for oh, South yeah. Africa. Mm -hmm. So the focus that they have is on supporting community-based organizations in South Africa who are working with people whose lives are affected by the HIV AIDS epidemic. Okay, not only the infected, but also the affected. People. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're focusing on groups that are working in communities where there are large numbers of people who are infected or mm -hmm. affected by HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. And this is a small grants program. Mm -hmm. uh, it's usually the grants are relatively small by, by the standards of, say, major development programs, but mm -hmm. we're looking for organizations that have a very high impact in their communities. Yeah, so yeah. these could be community centers that are working with youth who are affected by HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. They could be uh, treatment and counseling centers centers for mm -hmm. patients who are suffering from HIV AIDS mm -hmm. and also sometimes there are centers or organizations that aren't directly affected with working with the epidemic mm -hmm. but they're working with communities and other people mm -hmm. because as you know when HIV AIDS is is uh, active in a community where there are a lot of people suffering from it, mm -hmm. it affects not only the patients but mm -hmm. everyone involved. Oh yes, everyone in the community, in the entire community. Mama, when I when the U Shelo Lama visa, Lifunugi Milig, Giaganja and Gizawen and apply the visa it is carrying and no sniggers in Nagama Funa with department here to apply the visa. Young Indo wins are online. Oh, you will yes, it's in a website here too. Oh, Ganagiona. A week ago. Oh, okay. Ama website here to Amabil. Kune website where Ukwadisa Kone application form. Marshal Kati Lekubene, where Ukwadisa Kona Ulokuza Uwas or Kutukoki Mali. Oh, yeah, both. Yeah, visa, because mm -hmm. now we cook online, we have to work on the credit card, we have to put the work on the cash. Now, I'm going to get the cook, then we have to be a nigger, we go to Gwazi, we go to when the appointment we have to put online, we have to cook it. Okay, the appointment you would get in? The interview. Seventy-nine, because of Emakaya la bacon, a banyan solo to say you are Vagasha, some bacon in diets, a lagate, the Cafe Vagashile. So from Go Candelari? Yeah. Oh, I mind Valalogo would bang a humble to an elephant. Send the Lugutsin, Kubonaga, Lugutsimundo, right? Okay, Nako in Gazoras. Um, Mike, you said small grants, but how small is small? It varies depending on the need of the organization. Oh, then the need. So do you cover the need? Well, we work with the organizations that okay. identify needs in the community. So mm -hmm. when we're doing projects like this, I don't mean to say that necessarily the amount of money that's oh, yes. given is small, mm -hmm. but that the scope of the program is working in the community. Yes, because in which case then you define it as small because it's within a specific defined community. Yes, the best way to look at it is that it's a small project with a large impact. Oh, yes. Because as we all know, there are nationwide projects coordinated mm -hmm. at the governmental level. Mm -hmm. These tend to work with community-based organizations. All right. And now, how does one apply? 
Can you give us some details? Yes, there, we have a couple of our colleagues who work on community grants at the U.S. Consulate in Durban, mm -hmm. and the best way to find us, just as for visas, is to mm -hmm. go online, okay. and the website is easy to find. It's mm -hmm. uh, usembassy.southafrica.gov, and also if you just Google U.S. Embassy South Africa, mm -hmm. it will come right up on the screen. Okay, then you will also get the, the details of the website and so on. Yes, mm -hmm. so, and, and I believe we'll be sharing on the screen the details of the website with your viewers. Oh, yes, of course. We so will. if you go to that website, you'll find links for all of our diplomatic outposts in South Africa mm -hmm. because we, we have an embassy in Pretoria, yes. and that's where we do our main business, mm -hmm. but we also have three consulates in different regions of the country. Okay. So Toby and I are from the U.S. consulate in Durban, and mm -hmm. we cover KwaZulu-Natal, oh, yeah. and then we also have a consulate in Cape Town and Joburg. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the website, you can find contact information for the consulate in Durban, mm -hmm. for your viewers in KZN, mm -hmm. and they can give you information on how to get a project application form. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you cover the existing projects, not the proposed projects? Well, we cover both, our staff, okay. my colleagues who work on this. Ah, so we're monitoring projects that have been established, and we mm -hmm. have a regular system of visiting to see if they need help, to mm -hmm. see how they're progressing, mm -hmm. and then we also accept applications for new projects. Ah, wonderful. Thank you very much. Now, uh, this is an upper Utege Yole, I show you a website, now apply a call, apply a visa. We are going to lay your location in the search and just I want to come my location embassy and consulate. Okay. Then we must work on a lay Yama visa. Oh, it's a little. It's a little. Are we going to lay your lay Yama visa? Finale, a palace, EAC, dot state, dot gov. I know what to call this a corny form, the form letters and visa and OTS 160. Master Guba Kona Leo, you could see Ukoke Kona. Yona, it's um, South Africa dot US visa dot gov. I mean, dash info dot com. Okay. Leo, you could see Ukoke Leo. Who was in Oguchi was a person that is Kadesna. Mouse will for interview, which has also no means to gain Billy, or which is a Yako Sigua, so which is a print. Oh, when you gush? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. oh and oh, the mouse will print, must be it put me leg in the end, Zagala, your lag with system, your cut the processor, Imanio Coca, we will catch the location. La uso collector koni passport ya ko seven zero T H L. Kuya no guti ugu pinenda. Uma guti light the Richard Page. Yak nige so guti ukheto T H L wa right Richard Page. So that manga be visi si lungile uhambu yilanda. At tatu ni namusi na print. At tatu before uye we interview. Oh okay. Uh, because of time, I'll, I'll have to stop you from there. <laughs> okay. uh, Mike, your last word to the viewers. Well, I just want to uh, remind them that we are here in KwaZulu-Natal because mm -hmm. many people don't know that there is a U.S. consulate in mm -hmm. this province mm -hmm. and that that's really our job is to provide all the services that the embassy can provide. So we encourage them to get in touch with us and learn more about us. Thank you very much. Hello, Pinandomi. Mm -hmm.